The research was inspired, first of all, by the fact that soybean aphid, as you might know, soybean aphid is native to China, and it was first found here in the U.S. in the year 2000. So it was first found in the um, summer of 2000 um, in um, eastern Wisconsin. In that year, it spread to Minnesota, spread to Iowa, spread to sort of most of the soybean growing area, and by now, it's basically throughout the complete soybean growing area in the U.S. and Canada, although mainly a pest in the north central region. Um, why this was an issue was that prior to this time, soybean as a crop was basically entirely free of insect pests in the north central states. It can cause yield drops of up to 40 to 50 percent, and if you're a farmer, uh, that really hurts. The parasitic wasps that we're looking at are from China, and the work that we're doing, the goal of it is to uh, re release species of these wasps that we deem to be safe so that, so that they can con control soybean aphid here. They are parasitic wasps, uh, which means that they sting an insect, lay an egg inside that insect, and then the larva that comes out of that egg eats that insect, the host insect, from the inside and it kills that host. So when parasitic wasps um, attack pest insects, they're our friends. So we then consider them beneficial insects because they're sort of nature's way of pest con control. Soybean aphids are not really a pest in China. They're there, but at very low numbers. And one of the reasons that they're not at higher numbers, one of the main reasons, is that these parasitic wasps are stinging them there and keeping them at low levels. So what our goal is, is um, to bring these wasps, if we first ascertain that they'd be ecologically safe, bring them here and re release them here so that we can basically reestablish um, the natural control that's currently happening in Asia here. We've been going to China since um, 2001. And over that time, we've brought back 20 to 30 different species of these wasps. We can bring them back here to the University of Minnesota because there's a quarantine lab here. These are all parasitic wasps of aphids. So we call them aphid parasitoids. That means that they will only attack aphids. So not only will they not sting humans, but they won't even sting anything that's not an aphid. What we're trying to figure out is whether they'll sting a lot of aphids. Out of the 20 or so parasitic wasp species that we studied, we have gone through that process and gotten a permit for two species. One of them is called Binodoxus communis, is the name of it. And we got a permit for that back in 2007. And we were all excited. Everyone was all excited um, because this uh, was a promising agent and we thought that it might be able to control the soybean aphid and so that farmers wouldn't have to spray anymore. So we released in 2007, in 2008, in 2009. Other states also got in on the action, but this wasp did not establish. And we learned later that there were some aspects of its uh, biology which didn't match the Minnesota uh, winter. And another one, which is called Aphelinus glycinus, is one that about six months ago got a permit for. And this is also a very exciting species, and I think it's more exciting than the last one in the sense that we know um, that it can enter diapause, it can enter that resting stage as the days get shorter. It's, it's also from a part of China that has winters as cold as we have here. So um, there's a really good chance um, that this one is going to be, going to be able to establish uh, where bin Binodoxus communis was not. For soybean growers, it very well might mean that soybean aphid ceases to, to be a pest. This is what has been found for other pests in the past. And we've been working on it for a while and we don't have su success now. But as I mentioned, uh, we do have a promising agent that we're going to start um, to release um, in high numbers this summer. We actually have some other ones in the pipeline after that too. These things are capable in this sort of a setting of keeping pests underneath or be below a level um, at which they're um, economic pests. Mm -hmm.